noticed yesterday that the microphone will work for a couple minutes and then it'll start with the feedback so we'll see how long we can go uh, but anyways as we continue on John chapter 16 verses 12 to 15 Jesus again for the fifth time now in in this section he talks about the promise of the Holy Spirit okay and this time the Holy Spirit will guide into all truth so we have to remember what it is that is given to us here what is given to us is the third person of the Blessed Trinity and we see as we throughout the centuries study and reflect and meditate on the mystery of this Trinity again as we say in our Creed we have the Father okay and the Son is begotten by the Father meaning that like, like the Son is the the word the knowledge the intellect of the father which in itself is its own person okay there's a whole reason why that is and then we say that the holy spirit in our creed proceeds from the father and the son and so the the father has an idea the father has a word it's the son the father loves the son the father loves his word because nothing that is from the father can be anything that is less than perfect or less than whole and likewise the son then reflects what he sees the father doing this is why jesus keeps talking about you know i, I don't speak my word i speak the father i only see what the father is doing I and mean, we heard those phrases throughout the gospel of john all jesus is doing is just mirroring really what he sees from the father father gives to the son and the son returns it back but that mutual exchange of love between the two is itself a, a person because again God is eternal we call that the Holy Spirit and so when we receive the Holy Spirit not only we receive and as Jesus says he will guide you to all truth this spirit okay of the father and the son the third person guides us to all truth but it also inserts us into that love and participation between the Father and the Son. So at our baptisms, our souls become conformed to the Son. We become sons in the Son. We become an extension of the ministry and person of Jesus Christ. This is what the Acts of the Apostles is all about. Our whole first reading throughout this whole Easter season is from the Acts of the Apostles. And really what Luke is trying to tell us in that book is that the person, the ministry, the mission of Jesus Christ continues on. Jesus is continuing working and doing things, but this time it's happening not through the incarnation, but it's happening through the acts of the apostles. And that's the, the mission and purpose of all disciples. When we're baptized, we take on the mission, the purpose of Jesus Christ. We become an extension of the work that he is doing. And again, it's not through our own efforts, but it's his spirit. It's the Holy Spirit that he gives to us that makes it happen. And so we continue to, to pray and, and to ask for an increase in those gifts of the Holy Spirit. Because remember, everything that we do, it's not us. It's Jesus Christ in the Spirit working through us. May God bless you.